Have you ever heard of the phrase drawing a line in the sand? It means to make a distinct border, that you're reaching a point of no return, the threshold of change. Or it's just a line that your buddy is daring you to step over. Spoiler alert, they're just going to keep drawing another line. Believe it or not, a Venn diagram is like drawing a line in the sand. Except instead of a line, it's more like a circle, usually two of them, sometimes more. The point is there are boundaries here. Crossing over them into a different space means something. You've most likely seen a Venn diagram before, but just in case, a Venn diagram is a graphic organizer that visualizes the relationship between two or more topics. They clearly demonstrate what the similarities and differences are between them. They're a clear favorite for a couple of reasons. First off, they're easy to make. Really easy. Like you can make one in Lucent chart in less than a minute easy. Second, they're easy to understand. You only need to look at a Venn diagram for a few moments to get what separates and unites the topics. Third, we use Venn diagrams to basically compare and contrast. This is helpful for a variety of reasons. We use them all the time in school, in just about every subject. And we can use them for personal reasons, like deciding on what kind of dog you want to adopt, what kind of party to throw for your friend, or whether you should date a Scorpio or a Taurus. Now we can draw a Venn diagram on a piece of paper, but we can make one in Lucidchart just as quickly. If you'd rather use a template, first go to lucidforeducation.com. Click on Assignment Creator. Type Venn diagram in the search bar. Scrolling through, we see a template for a classic two-circle Venn diagram. Click the tab, then click on Open Premium Template. Here's a standard Venn diagram. We have our two overlapping circles with enough room to add text in each inner and outer sections. And we have the headers here to label our circles. With Venn diagrams, we always use the intersection to include items that both topics have in common. This is the compare side of things. The outer sections only include items that the other topic doesn't have. That's the contrasting side. Nothing ever goes on the borders. The nice thing about using templates is not only are the diagrams already set up, they're completely editable. So if you want to make changes like switching the color, font, or size, you're completely able to do so. We can do this by using the top toolbar. Instead of using a template, you can make a Venn diagram from scratch as well. On the Lucidchart homepage, click on Document to open up a blank workspace. Lucidchart already has a built-in shape library for Venn diagram circles. To make it appear in our left toolbox, click on Shapes. Scroll down and check the Venn diagram box. Now we see we can use these circles to make our own Venn diagrams. Start by dragging a circle from the left toolbar out into the workspace. We'll drag another circle and arrange them to overlap. Make sure to leave a good size space for the intersection. We can label the circles by double clicking on any part of the space above them. To add text inside the circles, we need to create text boxes. We can do this by dragging this T from the left toolbar and dropping it over the space we want it to go. Click and drag the white squares to arrange the text box's size and position to fit inside each section of the Venn diagram. We have three sections, so we'll need three separate text boxes. To start typing in our text boxes, just double click inside the border. We can hit return or enter on the keyboard to space out our items. Another way to make the items stick out and look better is to use bullet points. If we have all the items listed out, then we need to highlight them and open up text options. Pick which bullet icon you like. To clear unwanted bullet points in Lucidchart, put your cursor after the bullet and hit return or enter. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy, right? If you have more than two topics you want to compare and contrast with each other, a Venn diagram is still a good route to go by. You can include multiple overlapping circles to show what each topic has in common, not only all together, but exclusively with other topics. If you're in need of a good graphic organizer to help you understand your side's argument for an upcoming debate, or to clarify a confusing subject, a Venn diagram is always a great way to go. Use Lucidchart to get started.